Yo, it's our Strange Just podcast, Cliff Notes, where we make the world a better place by cutting down time and saving lives. Man, I love saving time. That's How about you? Always. Right. I, fuck time. And yeah. I love saving it. That's why I use the Cash County bus system. No, I'm just <laughs> That's <kidding>. right. <laughs> Sponsored by Utah. <laughs> Wait, People dude. working this... together, Utah. Oh my gosh, that is a song. Wait, Wisconsin. <laughs> what a great place to oh, be. Oh yeah, because we're, we're from Wisconsin. We're from Wisconsin. Right. I forget that we're from but, there sometimes. That dude, it just we just visited Utah. We're yeah. really from Wisconsin. We visit but, a lot, so it's all confusing. right. Cliff notes on the I knows. What's the first thing? Do not attribute meaning to something you just don't understand. You can't just say it rained, therefore God did it. We have a process. But then, who made the rain, Chris? Fuck. We always lose on that. If we one. don't have an answer, we can't. Oh fuck! I hate science. It can't <laughs> explain shit. <laughs> That's the thing. People are like, science is like so much better than religion, but it can't answer all the questions. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Religion answers all of them. Oh, that's true. And you know what? Having an answer is better than not having one. It's just kind of like, when, wrong. You know, like if, you're, if you're cleaner, you know, there's a place. Everything has a place and everything is in its place. When you have religion, everything has an answer and the answer is always God. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> right? Yep, that's right, dude. All right, Cliff notes are done. You guys We're now, done. you guys now know everything. All right, so I just wrote down some notes as we were kind of flying through the episode. Um, so the first big point that comes up is like, it's not like you're tr- like they're trying to brainwash you. Like, especially with Mormonism, people are like, oh, you're being brainwashed. But it's not like that's what they're doing. But the problem is just when you're told things from you know your youth. To believe Especially from, like, respected positions right. in the community. And, like, you can sense that they genuinely believe it. And so as a youth, you just grow up to identify with that because you respect, you know, the people. And obviously you're learning, and these people are often the people who are teaching you about life. It Well, it becomes incorporated into your perspective, and then that perspective makes it so much easier to, uh, like, let go how do i put it not let go but like ignore the flaws of the reasoning right and um that doesn't mean that like atheists are perfectly reasonable we saw tons of flaws too it just is um we're just getting rid of i almost went like english there getting but uh, getting getting, uh getting rid of one essentially and that's basically the false uh premise of oh since i don't know i don't understand this or i don't really know I'm not going to seek an answer. I'm just going to put God there and just mm. carry on with my life while we just put the scientific process in. And hopefully that is what gives us a better answer. And it might not even be the correct one. It just gives us a better answer. Essentially, right. That's all science claims. It just gives us the better best tools answer we have available. available with the evidence. Right. And like and the same thing can happen vice versa. Like a kid growing up like atheist, of course, yeah. like can be spoon fed scientific yeah, answers and believe them without really knowing it, the facts exactly them. like they can believe blindly by authority right like that is that that can completely happen but the difference is that like so yeah growing it, it, up in a scientific community you're, you know you're kind of pushed in more of a direction of actually questioning these things in the future and not just cut and dry like you know you know this is true as right. much as just like oh this is probably true because that's what the evidence suggests yeah exactly and remember Whenever you're in a belief system, you're going to expect what you feel you're expected to. And when you do that, that can sometimes lead you into like this false certainty that like this is really like your perception is 100% correct. And this is where the skepticism part comes in. Just reiterating it. Be skeptical and really look into it. Really delve because answers are really not so clear cut sometimes when it comes to even just within human interactions. Like you can perceive what someone else is doing and... It's completely off of what they're trying to do. And I've done this plenty of times. Like I've what's like um, attributed malice to some people and it's called like Arkham's razor or yeah, I think that's what it's called. Right. And it's never attribute malice to just what uh, ignorance or stupidity could be attributed to. And um, well, that's not, I don't think that's like a, like it just covers a lot, but basically like your perception of some things are just incorrect. And in fact, mine are too. Right. Like we're all in the same boat and basically we're just proponents of, science yeah like what chris is saying like that can apply to pretty much everything just always question your perspective as much as possible 
Like you can never question your perspective enough. Like not saying you should not believe it, but you should always look for alternative evidence and like, uh, you know, just just put it up for the test. Yeah. Well, like, I think that I think I, could do that much I think more. both of us are in the same boat that God could exist. He definitely could. Oh, yeah. We like, just I, lack a belief in him right I now. I technically would be an agnostic, but I just well, am so skeptical well, well, that it's the reason why agnostic and atheist. atheist like it doesn't matter because agnostic says I don't like agnostic basically says there could be a god and there could not be, but an atheist is basically the same thing. It's just that he just uh pronounces that I have a lack of belief in god because an agnostic is the same thing. I guess that's fair. If he, if he says that uh if it's like oh I'm agnostic, it basically just leaves the atheist baggage. That's what I've heard the arguments about because agnostic basically says i don't like there could be a god i just haven't seen enough evidence for him right which is the exact same position as atheist that says there could be a god i just haven't seen any evidence for him therefore i have a lack of belief yeah that makes sense yeah so like continuing through uh like the bullet points i laid out like one we put down is like you insert what you expect so like when you're trying to like come to know god is true you know you might have some complicated feelings when you're like thinking about life and like the grander whole it you know some touchy things can come up like with that like is there life after death you know will i see maybe a lost loved one you know there's a whole lot of reasons why complicated emotions could come up while you question that and if you start to feel funny or tingly or you know maybe even sad or happy you can easily insert like that this is the spirit or this is well, god telling me this is true yeah well i was even gonna say you can even just do that and um even even like uh if, even if we just want to take the spirituality out out of it you can do that in situations that, uh, like, how do you put it? Um, like a con like, like, let's say I was flirting with you, and uh, I um, and like, and like you were like you were like maybe like you were playing along, mm -hmm. but you know nothing was really there. But I could have felt something was really there, and I inserted what I want to. Like, he's really into me. Oh yeah, he thinks I'm cool. We're family. Like I'm in, locked, <laughs> <laughs> locked in. Oh, God. But the, but on the incest. other side. It's not even real because I just inserted what I wanted to. Like right. you can take that out of a religious context. It can totally happen. It just um, right. Sometimes it a, again just goes back to skepticism. Like inserting what you expect is not always the best answer. Right. And so along those notes is if you do start to kind of have that feeling about like like especially based on my experience, it's hard to you know project what everyone else has felt. But like when I used to really believe, what happens is you kind of start to question what you're feeling and then when you think about the possibility of this being real and maybe start to buy into it you get kind of an adrenaline rush because you you feel successful because this is what you're told is success growing yeah. up religious success is knowing god is real you know coming to know he's real building that testimony and uh you know then that then of course affirms it more and then the rush is amplified and it creates a positive feedback loop yeah. Well, this is what a lot of Scientology uh, uses. Like uh, recruiters, they go, well, look at all these successful people that are within Scientology. You could be this successful because they are truly um, living the spiritual belief. And that is giving them the benefit, like the maximum benefits out of life. And that's why they, they constantly will point to Tom Cruise. Uh, yeah. I, I, I think his name's Tom Cruise. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> it's Some, a celebrity. Somebody, somebody. I watched Leah Remini. Okay, I can point to Leah Remini. She's no longer a Scientologist. She actually is fighting against the organization. I think she's doing a great job. But, um, but like, they would point to Leah Remini when she was in there and say, hey, look at her. Look how successful she is because she believes what we believe. And just because you're successful does not mean, does not mean your belief system is true. It means that you could have earned it. You could have just come to it by luck. But that does not mean that your belief system is true. Not everything has to be a gift from God. And, um, yeah, I think that was basically just what yeah, I just wanted point. to pronounce that to the world. My pro yeah. Chris, Chris's proclamation to Wisconsin. Mm. <laughs> oh, good. that's a good proclamation. <laughs> that's good shit. So the next one was, it like, a lot of the times the things that you're taught to, that you're feeling are God or the Spirit are actually things that you would feel naturally based on the circumstance, which we kind of were touching on earlier. But, like, I bring up an example right. of, like, you know, there was kind of this farewell. Somebody was heading off to college, and so they gave him the Melchizedek Priesthood, which is, like, the equivalent of, you know, a rite of passage from, like, a scientific perspective. And so, like, everybody's feeling really good, and everyone thinks they're just feeling the spirit very strongly. But if you take, like, God totally out of the equation and just replace that with the rite of passage, 
you know, you're going to feel really good sending off a loved member of the community to go to the next step of his life. Yeah. Or like, it, yeah, it, like, yeah. And something you support, like supporting people feels right. good. And it that's, feels good. yeah, that's what's so complicated, especially when you have a tight knit community, which is one of the yeah. things the LDS and then you, church and then does you, yeah, well. Exactly. And then you attribute, uh, the spirit to it when it was just natural endorphins right. or other chemicals that like dopamine, just making you feel better about this. Well, feeling good about the situation because it's already a good situation. Right. And so that, that's another big point. And of how mean, we people, believe people come to people know. People will probably come and counter us. Well, I felt the spirit in bad situations and it goes, yeah, like, um, be just like, um, it's funny, but like the emotions are not, they don't always fit the situation either. And so, like, um, just because you feel an emotion in certain situations does not just mean that it was an outside source giving it to you. Um, right. Yeah. Or or it can even be amplifying, like, the feelings of security it, you might hope exact, to or, find or like the de That's a better way. You you, you basically right. fit. You fixed my sentence. Uh, right. Yeah, like, it deepens the feeling. And by deepening the feeling, that just means that you're in deeper emotions. Like, if you feel sad about something, but you already knew you were supposed to feel sad about it, that can make it feel deeper, and then you can think that you're feeling the spirit, like a spirit of guilt. But instead, you're just feeling guilt because right. you already expected to feel that feeling, and you've right. just exponentially pulled that all out of you. Yeah, just like like getting into that, like there's tons of reasons why you can feel different things. Humans yeah. are not always in a lot of control of their emotions, and like as uh, plenty of people can assess to or uh, say, I guess. I don't know what I was trying to say, assess to. But um, <laughs> essentially is like, you know we don't always know why we feel things and it is sporadic. And that's yeah. why it's so bad to base your entire belief system off of just feelings. Well, like even the placebo effect, like if we go into that, oh, yeah. like um, you can totally falsely like convince yourself of things. And what's crazy is that it can actually have an effect. It's really cool. Like um, the mind is fucking nuts. Well, yeah. So, so like the on the placebo nuts. effect. And so when you're in a horrible dark place, you know, something horrible is going on. And then you think of God who's Which supposed to make you feel better. peace and better, the placebo can kick in. And then once you start to feel better, you're like, oh my God, it's God. It's God. Which reinforces that your hope is real. And your belief system is real. And you get real. more hope. And then you get that positive feedback loop again. Yeah. And yeah. And so, because that's what you often see, actually. That's a pretty frequent positive feedback loop that often brings people back to the church. Like extreme negative things. And then they like have that placebo. and they did, and i think a lot of it comes back like if you go back to our metagame for life <laughs> um we think that a lot of that happens because people haven't found the right values in their life or at least the right thing to attribute to them that would give them uh like a good sense of purpose or meaning and we recommend uh you watch that and get our armchair psychology because we are the fucking we are the smartest people in the world <laughs> at least the smartest people this side of wisconsin that's right all righty maybe well, not utah though anyways <laughs> pretty much our last point of garbage. this is pretty long for uh, uh what is it cliff notes but yeah like the last point i wanted to get to is we both have the the belief system that you know despite faith having some positives it is inadequate and has many failures and that there are better ways of coming to know things and finding meaning okay i'm gonna go and i'm gonna go into this one because uh since i was talking Fair so enough. much about uh our, our our high intelligence you know gotta gotta go highbrow now All so right. i was having a you conversation with someone and so here's what here's how it went he told me that when when people mean faith that they mean, uh, how did he word it? Was like, um, was that it means having hope in something, and like, um, and I was like, okay. And then, and then, what he said after that, because the conversation was basically like, um, okay, which, like, uh, which is the belief system? And it was whenever, um, so like, let's say, let's say a doctor came to you, and the doctor was like, here, I'm prescribing you this pill, and you and like you and like and then he's like okay and you just take that pill you're just taking on faith that he's giving you the right pill for your problem and mm -hmm. i'm just like but it's confusing because i'm like no that's not faith because faith how it's defined in the bible is um fuck i have to pull up the scripture it, it's uh belief in something without proof yeah yeah, yeah. i, I, I want to read it danny okay but while he's looking at that i'll hit the last point that i think faith is blind obedience and that was like 
Hebrews. I said that straight to a, a general apostle in the LDS church because he came to try to convince me to stay on my mission. Was it? And he's like, where's your faith? And I was like, isn't faith just blind obedience? And he's like, shouldn't we be blindly obedient to God? Yeah, dude. And I was like, but right now I'm just being blindly obedient to people. Anyways. Right. Okay. So oh, Hebrews yeah. one eleven. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So yes. it's where it's without evidence. So yeah, so I would say by that definition, it would be blind obedience, right? Pretty much. Okay, because this is where I thought was interesting. He told me that the Bible does not define faith. And I was like, but I think that pretty well defines it. Yeah, according no, to that. But um, So I'll, you know, I'll probably have this conversation with him because I'm starting to realize that maybe, maybe I just don't understand what he was saying. But essentially what I thought right. he was saying was, hey... Faith means something different than blind obedience. And as far as I can tell, and as far as my knowledge goes, it means blind obedience. And I've been treating it like that. And I just think that that, and by going off of that system, because that's what I, that, I believe that's what that definition means. If you have a disagreeing one and you're religious or even atheist, right. come out, reach to us. But we're going to go off of that. And uh, the better system is instead of just believing in something blindly, the thing is that like, um, if someone tells you something, you can assume that that thing happened, or you can at least, uh, what's it called? Not assume. It's a, uh, what's it called? Musing or like, uh, it's, it's giving them like credit. Be like, okay, that could happen, but now right. let's seek evidence. And that's where it's different from faith is that the scientific process basically says, okay, right. you felt the earth shake. I didn't feel the earth shake. That could have happened. Let's see if we can find evidence for it. And then we can see maybe the tectonic plate shifts. Maybe there was, um, I don't know what the, right. The, the the graph is that reads the things but we could see a we could see a, a squiggly on right. it well, and um that's what i was basically trying to tell him in the conversation was that faith is just unneeded in the whole system the scientific process right. covers everything that faith ever right. wish it could and does way better yeah i feel like faith is the bad part of hope because yeah. if you think about hope hope is like just you know trying to like have you know faith that good things will happen i like how you use faith against it like like you're just trying to believe in something mm. but the thing about hope is it doesn't also imply that you have to actually believe it okay you can just like i, I can't think of another like word to put in place of hope but essentially like it's just putting that out there without like just acting as if it's true yeah you know what i mean because if you act as, as if it's true without evidence that can be bad and create problems where it's just hoping for good things doesn't necessarily create the issue. Yeah. Well, and I, and I just to add on top of that, um, I have a good conversation for us next time because this Cliff Notes is done. So I'm going to get – so I'm just going to ask this question. Don't answer, Danny. Is there more way – okay. Fuck. I already fucked it up. I was trying to like make it like dun, 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 like intense. But okay, I hold on. Totally hold on. Let me, let me set the mood for this. Danny, is there only one form of evidence? Say yes or no, and then exit it. Um, it's okay. We're gonna go into it, so it's okay. I, that, that I feel like I have to think about that. Like my my natural inclination is to say, Danny, you're already speaking too much. Oh, okay, oh my god! No! No!